In this video, I'm gonna show you how a Harayoyo is created from the imagination into the reality and used for different players to make tricks. At the very first period of this project, I was trying to design a super light and fast, also powerful throw. I started from the draft, trying to combine the simple gorgeous shape with the powerful performance. And then it comes to CAD for the more precise look, such as the adjustment of width distribution and the moment of inner tear. This is long time working which cost me more than two months. This is a 3D printing machine and I thought it was huge and awesome, but it actually took me 8 hours to finish a model. You input the data into the computer and then you output the entity. The model after machining needs to be cut, maybe polished or something like that. This is the very first 3D printing model and as you can see it's super thin here. I was actually making it to compare and adjust the shape with my imagination. I think it's just like the architect prototyping a micro landscape model. It's actually playable as well, you see? It's okay. Oh. <laughs> So these are a few different models we've ever made and they look similar, but each tiny improvement makes it more delicate. And the play field is actually totally different as well. And finally, we got this final final one. So when we try to make the weight distributed in the edge, it means the rim must be thick. So to make it thin and gorgeous at the same time, the problem is about the balance. Here we get the solution. The rim of ore is ramping from the inside all the way to the outside. And at the same time, the traditional bimitals are supporting the stainless steel rim by the aluminum body. And when it comes to re-hot ore, the rim is ramping the body in another way. This little change results in the multiple times of cap redraw, prototypes, and damage tasks. And finally, 2.5 mm or is one of the thinnest competitive area in the market when the weight is absolutely outside. And something unexpected is that the thin outer wall made the weight more concentrated, resulting in the more explosive and stability at the same time. It's only 63 grams so. So for me it's just like an elegant monster. What's more, the glaze touch surface treatment is now using a 7075 aluminum body, shiny like the polished obsidian. Another color way we created is Kynet, just like the blue in the black. This is a story of the design, and more unexpected surprise is prepared for your own experience. <laughs>